Yeah. What color rope was the priest wearing? Well, I hope you took a real good picture of my leaf no, so you put it in go. there. He had, a, he had like first thing, little that's tiny newspaper thing. <laughs> that's not me. Walk in, pull it. That's walk nice. Out. That's really nice. You know, take a peek, see so who's coming down, what priest is serving. Yeah, that's what you needed. I never used to do that with your tongue, did I? Things that come out, yeah, what he was wearing. And they know if he did. Teenage Ninja Turtles. That's enough for me, thanks. This is from Burger King. No, it's mine. Burger King. That's great. We love going through these phases each year, don't we? Dinosaurs, Ghostbusters. At least you got all the prom puppy stage. No, yeah. Oh, shut up. I heard you call him a willy. Just give me a handshake. Don't give me a hug. I want to take that. Okay, Joe, you got any marks still? Don't forget another one. Love it. That's a pretty good picture. Joe, you're going to love. As usual, you're going to love tonight. Mr. Practical, I'm always Mr. Practical. Chainsaw, do it on the That's the best. A dollar. Don't you love the way they count, Mark? Well, we guarantee everything. Right into the old bank. They will, Mark. Right into the old pocket. What's that noise? It's from Ireland, Joe. It's from Ireland. I don't know. I can't see it from here. <laughs> it's a Holy Grail back. I had an easy baby yeah, right here. No, no, no. And the date. Oh, that's nice, Mark. I have nothing with the date on it. Except this phone. I actually thought I should have put the date on that plaque. Oh, yeah, you know, that's your little bit of Irish you have to have, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say, everybody, Joe? Thank you. Happy Holy Communion! Happy Holy Communion! Yay! Towards the end, yeah. There you go. This big. That's good. There you go. Beautiful job, Joe. Okay. No, 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 honey. I'll do the rest. What? Okay. I'll do the rest. I'll do the rest, Bob. No, no, no. I'll do the rest, honey. No, I want to do it. Okay, bye bye. Up here? Right here? Right here? These are going to be my architect daughters. They're going to do for a living. They're going to plan cities. Mom? Great I'm cities. I'm thinking about it of building houses. And think about it of being a star. You're going to be either a star or build houses? Yeah. What kind of star are you going to be? Movie star? Rock no, star? Um, a show star. A show star? What kind of show star? TV star? Play yeah. star? Like we did um, yesterday. Oh, yeah, you did do play yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I like this town especially. See a swimming pool? I think this is... Yep, sorry. Excuse me, people who are watching this tape. Okay, look at that town. I like that town. Let's call it the Hennigan Huts. See, this no, is where be. this is where these people live. You just told me to take him an hour, Joe. Is he home? Okay. We are in the middle of America's single family search and sweet six. This is a nationwide search to locate the family that is the very best example of an all-American traditional family. We are here today in Springfield to find your all-American family who will go on to appear on the nationally televised TV show and compete with other families from around the country for the grand prize. Now, I'll be calling you up as a group and we'll ask you several questions that will reflect how your family unit lives together in harmony. And of course, as preliminary winners, our chosen family will take home some fantastic prizes. So, viewers, tell them what they will win today. All right, Nell. Our finalists today will take home a truckload of wonderful prizes. First, three cases of uranium car wax. The wax that makes your car glow. To go along with the wax, a year's supply of brand new shabby clocks. And of course, a cool 500 Samoans.
Oh my god, I can't believe I don't have this on here. And ladies and gentlemen, who do you suppose our last finalist is? <laughs> Contestant number 13, where is he? Come on up here. Hello there. Stand right over here if you would. Hi. Let me just find out who our contestants are, what their names are, how old they are, all that important stuff. What is your name, sir? Bart Simpson. Thank you very much, Bart. And how old are you? Eight. Hmm? Where are you from? <laughs> Illinois. Springfield, Illinois. That's Bart Simpson for you. Thank you. And, uh, what, what is your name, sir? Bart. And how old are you, Bart? Nine. Huh? And where do you live? Not going to tell. You're not going to tell. I'm not coming over anyway. Don't worry about a thing. What's your name? Chris. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Come over here, Brett. Come over here. Stand right over here as I present to you your grand plethora of prizes. And here they are, a full bag of Bart Simpson swell stuff. And let's see, first of all, we have the Simpsons poster book. Hold on to that. Oh, very good. And we have the Bartman. Avenger of Evil, the official Bartman. Hold on to that. Good. And a Bartman poster. Hold on to that. Good. And another Bartman poster. Would you call that? Okay, good. And a Bartman on board sticker. Can you hold on to that? Good. A Radical Road sign. There you go. Can you hold on to that? Good. A large Bartman Avenger of Evil button. Good. Hold that right there, under your nose. Good. And a Bart Simpson keychain for your car keys. There you go. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. An official 100% 50-50 t-shirt. Bart Simpson, you cool your jets man t-shirt. Can you hold on to this too? There we go. Just put that right there. Let's get, let's get Bernard another round of applause. Thanks very much. Step right over here, everyone. Step right over here. There you go. Mom, is that yours? There you go. I'm going to go take some of this stuff away from you there. Thank you very much. There you go. In fact, you can have the whole darn bag. There you go. And Brett, there you go. And there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round for a round of applause for our winner, Brett. Thank you, sir. Now, I'll give you this bag in just a second because I want our second runner up, I think, deserves something, don't you? Yes. That would be our first runner up, the second place, actually. What, what is your actual name? Joe. That's correct. Thanks for coming up here today, Joe. And where do you really live, do you know? Downers Grove. In beautiful Downers Grove. Are you serious? I love that town. Anybody here from Downers Grove? Yeah? I love that place. I spent a week there one night. Really good time. I'm from Chicago myself. Anybody here from Chicago? Yeah. Yeah? Can I get a ride home? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Well, listen, Joe, I've got something left in this bag. Well, I think that you should have it. Don't you? Here it is. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh, God. Here it is, Joe. Your very own necktie pressing machine. There you go. That's for you. It's for pressing your neck. You don't wear neckties? You don't? Wait a minute. Step back here for just a second. It's not really a necktie pressing machine, but it really is made for your neck. Let me show you how this thing works. Have you had a sore throat recently? No? You have? Oh, excellent. Okay, good. See, watch this, Joe. If I just hook this up right here, you put your neckties on, they are instant.